our final prayer and blessing, I'd like to invite forward Bill and Peg White. Bill and Peg are the ones who have brought the exhibit on Eucharistic Miracles here to our parish to serve all of uh, this area, and they'd like to share a word about the exhibit, how they got involved, and some of the beautiful fruits they've seen come from it. Good morning. We are Peg and Bill White, and we come to you from Pensacola, Florida. In 2020, we celebrated our 50th uh, wedding anniversary, and we were gifted with a remarkable challenge of taking the Vatican-approved Eucharistic Miracle Exhibit across the country to as many churches and schools as would have us. Um, We have brought with us today panels of about 50 of these miracles, of which there are 152 across the globe. Since January of 2020, in spite of COVID, we have had over 9,000 people view this exhibit. It's truly fascinating, and people are in awe of the miracles that Jesus has provided us with. Now this copy of the exhibit, it's one of a number of copies, includes church-approved Eucharistic miracles, like the one at Lanciano, Italy, that occurred in 750 AD, when a consecrated host and wine turned into heart muscle and blood. And we've had the opportunity to see that. It still exists. It's over 1,250 years old, and there are no preservatives. There are pictures of it in the, uh, the exhibit. The most recent ones occurred in Poland in 2008 and 2013, and again, consecrated hosts turned into heart muscle. Now, Although the Catholic Church does not say that we must believe what these miracles seem to show, we think they do provide much more evidence to strengthen our belief in what the Church does teach is true. And Father so eloquently explained to us that again, today, he participated in one more miracle here. We hope you'll come over and learn about Carlo Acutis, the 15-year-old young boy who put this exhibit together so it could be replicated and spread across the globe. He is a fascinating young man. He loved the Lord, he loved the Eucharist, and he died at age 15, coming down with an acute case of leukemia. And in three days, he died. But he told his mom, don't cry for me, mom. I'm going home. Isn't that the way we should all be? I'm going home. So uh, we do hope you'll come over and uh, take a look at these fascinating miracles. We're quite sure you'll be very impressed. Thank you, and thank you, Father Kevin.